Cliffhanger is the Sylvester Stallone mega blockbuster hit movie where he showed the world that when it comes to hanging off of crazy shit, he ain't bad. It starts off with Stallone, who's such an amazing climber that he beats a fucking helicopter to the top of this 4,000 foot tall rock. Is it really 4,000? Yeah, it's about. Which he does because Michael Rooker's being a little bitch and after climbing to the top, he fakes a knee injury. I think it's out. Because he's too scared to climb down. I remember. When you're twisted and getting out of that hot tub. I thought it was an old war wound from Nam. Even after being outed as a liar. Baby, he lies. He still has the nerve to sh talk Stallone. Whatever this guy says about me, don't believe it, okay? Stallone gives him an attitude adjustment by launching his girlfriend 4,000 feet to her fucking death. <laughs> now what, bitch? Now, it's eight months later, and these gentlemen are on a nice leisurely flight. Oh yeah, moving up in the world. When Ron DeSantis flips the f out. Now I have jurisdiction. With an Uzi that those incompetent TSA f**ks somehow missed. Suddenly, everyone has a gun. Even the pilot who shoots the other pilot. Then they decide to blow this plane up. Charge goes off in five minutes. And zip line to another plane just for fun. I don't know what airline this is, but from now on, it's the only one I'll ever fly. Before the last guy can make it across, DeSantis gets a second wind and unloads on the other plane with incredible accuracy. <laughs> before blowing the f up. In all that excitement, they drop their luggage, which is so embarrassing. But luckily for them, they have one of the best female pilots in the world. And that's one of her best surprise landings yet. Her co-pilot almost didn't die this time. That's what I call progress. Since she has plenty of experience with this, she knows the exact information to send out over a distress signal. We're stranded. I don't know where we are. I see only a rock formation. With the knowledge that she can see a rock, they know precisely where she is. It's gotta become left and head to her exact location. We're on our way, you're gonna be all right. This is the villain of the movie, John Lithgow. Give me the tracking monitor. While you're trying to figure out what the f kind of accent that is, you're distracted by this lady who's determined to outstupid her by turning her windshield wipers on by accident and having no idea how to turn them off. They're both used to that shit by now, so they just leave it like that and go inside. They'll never make it down. Willing to do anything to shut her up, Stallone agrees to help out those morons by the rock. But Rooker is still pissed about Stallone launching his girlfriend to her death. You can take your ass down and go back to that hole you've been hiding in. Look, bro, it was all in good fun. Stop taking yourself so seriously. Now drop it! No! It was you who dropped it. Nice. They both have a good laugh about that and are best bros again. So they head to the mountain's only rock, and even though this isn't an airport and their plane is torn in half, Stallone just can't piece together the puzzle. What the hell's going on? Then they see the pilot and suddenly everything makes sense and they agree to help find their lost luggage. Suits, socks, the usual stuff. Stallone then realizes he hasn't shown off his rock hard body in at least 20 minutes, which is bullshit. So even though they're in the middle of a blizzard, he gives the people what they want. After climbing up to the luggage, he discovers, holy shit, it's not socks or suits. They are gonna be so pissed. 
which they are. They're gonna kill you! So they try and pull him down, which will probably kill all three of them. But after such a sock tease, they're seeing red. Oh, God damn it! And just don't give a shit. But Stallone's a step ahead and manages to cut the rope by bashing it with a blunt object. <laughs> then they decide that plan was too smart. Watch it! So instead, they open fire on the guy they can't see, which causes an avalanche. But an avalanche is nothing that can't be fixed with more bullets. Ah, oh, f***. Anyways, even though the only guy they saw die was the one stupid enough to have a firefight against a natural disaster, they're confident that the very experienced search and rescue mountain climber is also dead. Your friend just had the most expensive funeral in history. And don't even bother checking. So he makes a quick climb up to this convenience store that somehow went out of business. It's hard to believe any business could fail in such a prime location, but here we are. Since this is such a high traffic hotspot, he just happens to run into that dumb lady who's here looting the place. They grab all the valuables they can carry and head out. Stallone remembers the location of another piece of luggage, but son of a bitch, it's just more money. Oh my god. He's been talking up how awesome the socks were gonna be, and now he looks like a total jackass. What do we do now? He gets payback though, by building an ice sculpture so lifelike that the bad guys mistake it for an actual person. Ha ha, dipshit. It was a snowman the whole time. Son of a bitch is still alive! No shit. How did you not know that when you first saw the snowman, you fucking idiot? Anyways, they sent knockoff Uhtred after Stallone with night vision goggles. But Stallone blinds him with a light, which is not how any of that works. But who cares? Because now Stallone's riding him down the mountain, which is far more insulting. Thankfully, that eventually ends. And we all agree to never speak of it again. Halfway through the movie, we get the shocking reveal that Stallone is the real villain as he commits countless federal crimes by burning U.S. currency. The next day, while they're being responsible and walking single file, and Stallone's climbing his ass off, she's getting higher some shit. So of course, she fucks everything up. No! But hats off to this little guy who tries to take her out all by himself, which he has absolutely no way of doing, but damn it, I love his moxie. Now we go to this cranky old fuck who comes across a stranded parachuter surrounded by wolves. <laughs> He scares them off by unloading into the innocent parachuter. Steven Seagal style. The wolves can see he's crazy as shit and want no part of him. Get the hell out! He checks for bite marks, but he's clean, which means the kill was all his and he's free to take the body and do what he needs to do to make himself feel like God. I gotcha. Back to Stallone, who has to find a way out of there, so he begs her, for the love of God, don't fuck anything up. But they both know that's impossible. This guy is looking for Stallone and can't believe his luck when Stallone's head pops out of the fucking ground. Small world, ain't it? Unfortunately, he is the worst negotiator ever. Hand over the money, and I'll just kill you and not the girl. Flip that around and maybe we'll have something. Stallone rightly figures, fuck that, he ain't dying for her, who somehow managed to get the rope tangled into knots and lures him into a trap. 
Neither of them thought she'd actually be able to pull something off, so they didn't plan anything after the kick. <laughs> Stallone reluctantly rescues her, <laughs> and while still riding high on not f***ing something up, she forgets who she is and gets cocky. <laughs> No bullets, bitch! Now that's more like it. To be extra sure, she doesn't accidentally do something useful. No bullets, bitch, decides to just sit back and watch them fight. Ah! Her staying out of it is just the boost Stallone needs to pull off his patented dick grab into a stalactite move. <laughs> Just then, outside help tries to reach them. Jesse, do you read? And now's her chance to shine. Here it is, here it is. Never mind. Instead of grabbing the radio, she just points at it like an idiot because she's fing worthless. Shutter Granby, critical condition. If only there was someone whose shoulders were a little smaller and could fit through much easier, you dumb bitch. But the women aren't all bad, and the movie makes it a point to show they have important skills, too. You should see me bake a cake. And I'm sure you're just great at it, sweetie. You'll make somebody a fine wife someday. Anyways, back to someone important. Stallone has to get the hell out of there before this bomb goes off, and guess whose fucking rope breaks? <laughs> <laughs> For the love of God, just drop her. God damn it. So now the crazy old man comes back to give the women a run for their money in the stupid department. Welcome. What are you doing? What the f does it look like? You know what? I'm all out of patience. Just fucking shoot him. Thanks, bro. She's pissed that she's the dumbest one in the movie again, so Lithgow helps her out with that. <laughs> now Stallone makes it to the final piece of luggage, which by process of elimination must have socks. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. Fine, he'll take your $30 million, but he ain't happy about it. Meanwhile, Rooker gets into a fight with this guy who's a former football star and is beating Rooker's ass until it's revealed he meant this kind of football. You like sucker? Rooker then laughs and easily murders him. This guy goes full Elmer Fudd and gets clowned on by this adorable bunny. Suck it, bitch. God damn it! The bunny then tricks him into giving out all their information. Stop transmitting, you stupid bastard! To the FBI. I don't give a shit, Eric Quaylen! Since he's no match for the bunny, he chases Stallone instead, who's so much dumber. <laughs> I have no idea what his plan was, but there's no other way that could have ended. But Fudd isn't just gonna win without putting up a fight, so instead of just walking away and letting Stallone drown in the icy water, he follows him around needlessly, which gives Stallone the perfect opportunity to unload on him three times with his single fire piton gun. While Stallone and the bunny were busy kicking ass realistically, she was busy flagging down the villain to make it easier for him to take her hostage. They agree to exchange her for the $30 million, which is a deal Stallone's getting the sh end of. And who the f is this? You know what? It doesn't matter, because Stallone finally comes around and instead of trading the money for no bullets, bitch, no bullets, bitch, he decides to be a total dick instead. <laughs> Fuck yeah. He is so fucking pumped that he grabs the helicopter and slams it into the mountain. According to 90s physics, that should have exploded. The fact that it didn't pisses Stallone off, so he beats the sh out of Lithgow and tries it again. There we go. 
Just then, the FBI finally arrives, and luckily, they hate due process. If you're looking for Mr. Quaylen, he'll be the one wearing a helicopter. Good. Just as much as Stallone, 